So welcome to Wednesday Therapeutic Yoga. And thank you so much for coming. And today uh, we've had requests for upper back, neck and shoulders, as well as mid back. So I'm gonna focus a bit on that. So just start by exhaling, bending the knees, looking down at the feet and inhale, arms coming up. And exhale through the center, bend the knees. You can bend all the way to Ardha Uttanasana if you like chair pose and inhale coming up. When you come up, you can add a back arch to take it more into the upper back, neck and shoulders. Keep that going, your own timing. As you exhale, you can do that humming sound if you like. center, exhale, coming to one side, and then the other, you can bring one arm down if you like. Inhale, center, exhale, other side. Really sticking the hip out to get into the side body a bit more. Inhale up, exhale side. If you like staying on one side, play with the arm position, palms together, interlock the fingers, hold opposite elbows, maybe crossing one foot over the other. Feeling the rib cage open. As you inhale, try to align those elbows and exhale, ground. When you're ready, come into the center and go to the other side as you exhale. After you've stayed four to six breaths, inhale center, exhale coming down. And we're gonna go into upper back, neck and shoulders through warrior. And I'm gonna show with the chair and then without. So you're bring the left foot forward, the right foot back. Inhale, arms coming to the sides. Exhale, drop the shoulder blades down. Inhale, warrior one, look forward or up. And the palms can be apart or together. Exhale, coming into a four bend, maybe straightening the front leg, maybe hands to the seat of the chair, maybe hands to the ground. Inhale, arms up the sides, bending that front knee. And widen your stance. Exhale, drop the shoulder blades, draw the rib cage in as you exhale from the pelvic floor to the belly button. Inhale, arms up, warrior one, Yurkutrasana. And exhale, Parshva Uttanasana, one side at four bend. Just keep this going. Inhale, warrior one, arms side. Exhale, dropping the shoulder blades, draw the belly in. Inhale, arms coming up. 
warrior one, palms together, exhale forward bend, drawing in from the pelvic floor up. And on this fourth time, maybe staying in the four bend position with your medicine, hands on the seat of the chair. You could also be quite close like this. That's on the back of the chair. Just see which one of those feels best. This one with actually the hands on the back of the chair really gets under the armpits, which could help the neck and shoulders. When you're ready, gradually coming up, inhale halfway, exhale stay, inhale the rest of the way, exhale stepping back, and going to our other side, right foot forward, left foot back, heel to heel alignment, inhale, warrior one, arm side, bend that front knee over the second toe, exhale, drop the shoulder blades, draw the rib cage in, the belly in. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, warrior one, arm side. You increase the length of your stance. Exhale, drop those shoulder blades. Breathe from the pelvic floor up to the belly. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, warrior one. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, bend the front knee, arms at the sides. Exhale, drop the shoulder blades. Inhale, arms coming up. After your fourth time, staying at the bottom, either with the chair or the hands on the ground. If you like, as you inhale, and lengthen the spine along the leg. Exhale, forward bend. You can also square off that back foot so you can get a deeper stretch into the calf. Just be careful of balance. When you're ready, gradually coming up, bending that front knee, come halfway up, inhale, exhale, stay. Inhale the rest of the way up. Exhale, samastiti, stepping back, finding your even standing pose, just take a rest. That's how you feel. So we're going to do another neck shoulder one in a minute. But first, well, we actually will do it in this one. Inhale, arms at the side. We're going to hug that tree as per request today. And bring the shoulder blades together and open the chest. And exhale, bend the knees coming halfway down. Imagine you're hugging a tree. And if you like doing a land acknowledgement. The, the land that you are standing on. Inhale, arms side. Exhale, bend. Round. Great for the hips as we bend, great for the upper back as we come up. Just one more time. And 
loose. Okay, so we're gonna do another one for neck and shoulders. So another warrior. So you're gonna bring your left foot forward, your right foot back. Okay, you're a lot quickly. <laughs> so um, you're gonna start with your hands in front and you're gonna round your spine. So this is your exhale position here. And then inhale, bend that front knee, bring the hands to the chest and elbows to the side. So it's like that with the arms. And then exhale, you're rounding the spine. It's like that. Okay. Inhale, you can make your stance a little bigger maybe. Inhale, opening. And see if you can keep those elbows up, shoulder blades together, and exhale, release. Now, some of you might feel better keeping your palms together. This might be more your area, more your wrists. So if you want to take it more into your wrist, keep your palms together, and then exhale, release. I like to get into my shoulder blades, upper back. And I like to look up a little bit. So just play with the arms until it feels really good for your body. When I exhale, I'm trying to bring my upper back really far back, my hands forward. And we're gonna do the other side. Right foot forward, left foot turned out. Just find that exhale position, palms together. Shoulders slightly forward. Inhale, hands to the heart, drawing the elbows back, shoulder blades together, looking slightly up or forward, or again, palms to the heart if you prefer. Exhale. Stretch that upper back. Inhale, open. Exhale. Just keep this going your own timing. Do around six, maybe even eight. And just finishing up. When you're ready, if you can, step your back, finding your samastiti. Notice how you feel. Let's just do an uttanasana to tie it together with the upper back, neck, and shoulder variation. Arms, inhale, arms, sides, radiating like the sun. And exhale that waterfall forward as we come into our four bend. Your legs can be bent or straight. You can also bring your hands to the chair your head to the chair. Could look something like this. Put have blocks or books on your chair that you bring your head to. You could also bring your hands to the back of the chair. If you don't want to go down as far, you can bend your knees. That can be safer for the lower back if you've got some instability there. Just keep it going to your place and your own pace. Bringing that bhavana, that infusion of the sun as you inhale, radiating out of the heart, and exhale that waterfall as you exhale, pouring down the front, sides, back, all the way to the feet. So noticing any areas of tightness in your back or your legs. And if it's comfortable staying in the forward bend position and just letting go in the semi inversion, picking your place either all the way down or halfway down the chair if you've got heart issues or eye issues or balance issues. Okay, so in this position, I'm going to work on Arda Uttanasana. This is a back strengthener. 
for the lower back and it really opens the upper back. I want you to fold your arms, hold opposite elbows, inhale, come halfway up, move the arms in line with the ears, come halfway up. And exhale, forward bend. Now you can do the seated in the chair. If this is too much on your lower back, just do it seated in the chair. So I'll show that in a minute. You can also do this with the back of the wall. I'll show that. It's always interesting to me. I, I like to avoid the chair because I feel like I sit in one all the time. But um, when I do these poses of the chair, I remember how helpful it is to sit in the chair to get a bit deeper into the lower back. The other variation I teach is the buttocks at the wall, feet away a couple of feet. And if you want to challenge yourself, you can interlock the fingers and work with a longer lever. You can stay a breath or two. In the halfway position, this is a back strengthener. It's also providing some traction. And it's very good for kyphosis rounding in the upper back, decreases that curve. We see that with my students in person. And when you're ready, just resting at the bottom for a few breaths. Coming up very slowly, halfway up first, inhale, exhale, stay, inhale the rest of the way up, and just find your equilibrium back in the center. Notice how you're feeling your upper back, neck, and shoulders, hopefully a little bit better. So we're going to do a Tadasana up on our toes. Put it in a different part of the class today. Inhale, coming up on your toes. Now you're going to fold your arms and hold opposite elbows. We haven't done this in a while. And exhale, you're going to bring your heels down as you draw your shoulders down. Inhale, let your shoulders come up as your heels come up. And exhale, you're going to come down with bent elbows. A little bit different variation. I use this one for rotator cuff injuries. I think one of you has an old one. Inhale, if I remember. Inhale, coming up and bending those elbows. Exhale, dropping the heels. You can come just halfway down or all the way down. If you want to challenge yourself halfway down, and drop those shoulder blades down. Inhale, coming up and maybe bringing your hands up, maybe interlocking the fingers. And exhale, bend the elbows as you come down. And hopefully that feels really good. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, coming up. Holding those arms. Exhale, drop the shoulders and bring the heels halfway down or all the way down. If you've got one shoulder that has an injury from the past, just focus your mind there. Inhale, coming up, perhaps interlocking the fingers, stretching way up, and exhale, down. Okay, we're gonna try, sorry, this one, coming down. We're gonna try one more. Inhale, we're gonna come up, interlock those fingers. Exhale, leave them there as you bring the heels down, stretch the hands away as long as you can. Inhale, come up, stretch higher, and exhale, let's bend those elbows and come down. Inhale, just trying to get some traction in the upper back, putting your mind on the upper back and neck. Exhale, coming down. Inhale up. And exhale down. 
Okay, one more time. Inhale. Exhale, heels down, stretch your hands up, feel under the armpits, feel that stretch through the whole spine. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, bending the elbows, coming down. And rest for a moment. It's one of those days we have lots of time. Just rest. There's always good news. Okay, so I want to work on the neck a little bit. So that was another request. So going a bit deeper um, into the neck and shoulders, bringing the feet apart. We haven't done this in a while. Trikonasana, Uchi to Trikonasana. Triangle, you're going to turn your left foot out, your right foot slightly in, facing to the left. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, going to a triangle, looking forward. Inhale, bringing your arm along your ear. Now you might hold on to your shin as you do this for support, or you could hold on to your chair. You could also bend that knee if it does not feel good on your knee. Exhale, bring your hand back and look down. Just bring that top arm back, palm is facing up, the thumb is back, and I'm looking down and away. And inhale, coming up to standing. Exhale, arms down. A lot of you have done this one before. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, triangle, trikonasana. Hold on to the leg or not. Inhale, extend that arm long again. You can bend that knee if you prefer. Exhale, hand back, look down, draw the belly in. Feel that stretch in the neck and shoulders. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring the hand back, look away. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, center, other side. You can do that three to six times. Inhale, arms coming up. Just doing three today. Exhale, shifting hips back, finding your triangle. If you don't hold on to the leg, it's a lot more work. Inhale, bringing that top arm along the ear, possibly bending that lower leg. It's a different pose. Exhale, hand to the sky, look away. And the top hand is back and the thumb is back and the palm is up. Inhale, coming up. You'll know when you get it. It'll feel really good in the left side of your neck. Exhale, release. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, Uttita Trikonasana, standing triangle. Classical pose. Inhale, variation, arm along the ear, stretching under the armpit and the whole side body. Exhale, hand back, look down. Top palm is up, the thumb is back. Bring it as far back as you can. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, release. Okay. We haven't done our nerve flossing in a while, but I know some of you really like this. So let's try that. So we're going to put our feet in goddess pose position. If this is comfortable on your knees, you can do the seated in chair. If it's not, you can just keep your feet parallel. Okay. So if it's comfortable, finding that external rotation, bringing your hands up, imagining you're holding some trays. Your fingers are facing back. You might be feeling the hand you use a lot, a lot, right? Because your right hand's like, oh, wow, my fingers feel really weird. That's what I'm feeling. Inhale here. Exhale. Now press to the side as you bend your knees and bring your hands back enough so that you're feeling maybe your middle finger and maybe one of the other ones. 
Inhale, come to the center. Your fingers are facing back. Exhale, press to the side, bend the knees. And now I'm going to tip my fingertips back. And maybe you're feeling a different finger now. Okay. Inhale, center. So maybe the index finger. Exhale, coming back, start in the center, then tip those fingertips forward. Maybe you're feeling the ring finger. Inhale, come up. And exhale, release. We're gonna do that one more time. So this is kind of a pre-yoga pose. I could say we're in goddess pose, but that's pretty much all I can say in terms of yoga. All right, so here, holding those trays or those Aphrodite pies, if you know that pie store in Kitsilano, inhale and exhale, bring those pies to the sides, give them to someone you love or not <laughs> with the fingertips facing up, feel that middle finger. Inhale, coming center, fingers back. Exhale through the center and then draw those fingertips back and bring their arms back far enough. You're really flexing through the wrists so that you feel something in your hands happening. So you're really flexing that wrist. Inhale, center. Exhale, side. And then tip the fingertips forward, bend the knees, feel that rotation of the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. And I'm always surprised how much that work, work that is for the arm muscles. It's like, I think I'm strong, but just moving your arms around like that is work. Okay, so let's do um, forward bend after that. And then we're gonna end with this. So this one is actually working that median nerve again. Inhale. Arms coming halfway up and I'm flexing my wrists. Exhale, you're gonna make PI lobster claws as you come forward, my feet are hip width apart or more. And you're just gonna do that up and down. Inhale, flex those hands and maybe lift the chest and press away. You could press into a wall to help you with this. Exhale, curl the hands and come down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And coming to Samstiti. Om Shanti to end. Inhale, arms side. Oh. Inhale, arms side. Maybe visualize the sun shining. Gather it up as you exhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace. Thank you very much.